between unquestionably the best two players in the world, the reigning two-time world champion Hanai Ping, and world number two, Li Mingwei. On the far side of the net is Hanai Ping. By a couple of inches, the taller of the two. That's her, Hanai Ping, two-time world champion. And her opponent nearest the net. Got a glimpse of her there. Li Lingwei. And that's one heck of a hard smash from a very slight Two, Han Ai Ping. Quite slim by comparison to her opponent. And as usual, both Chinese girls have got knee bandages on. Three, love. But neither moving as though they're carrying any kind of injury. Well, this is a repeat of the 1987 World Championship final in Beijing, which Hanai Ping won 10 12, 11 4, 11 four 7. Love. And already racing into a four love lead. Just a reminder that ladies' singles, best of 11, or played to 11, I should say. Five, love. Okay. And Li Lingwei asking for a change of shuttle. Service over. Love, five. So, love, five. Li Lingwei with a bit of ground to make up now. First game. Over five love. Certainly, Hanai Ping looks the more determined. Li Lingwei often looking around into the crowd. Six love. Doesn't really quite believe that things are going so badly for her. Well, yes. Not in this game at all yet. Well judged outside. <laughs> Leeling Way. Love six. Love six. First game. The two girls, Derek, must know each other's style of play so well. It must be difficult for either to string a surprise. One. Yes, I'm quite sure that they uh, practice quite a lot together and uh, of course, it's often a different story in uh, a real competition, and we rarely see these two playing in a, in a final in Europe, so uh, it is rather a unique occasion for them in one respect. Well, she's not happy about something, Lee Ling Wei. Whether it's with a form, or maybe there's an air current coming from somewhere putting her off, because the shuttle so light, even the slightest movement in the air can alter the course of the shuttle in flight. I think a lot of it's down to a uh, mental approach and concentration and of course there are lots of external Seven. factors that affect the concentration of the mind. One always presumes that they don't have anything to worry about in their lives outside of playing badminton but uh, I'm sure that's not always the case. Launches out the back. Hanai Ping Two, keeping up seven. a very consistent length of clear until that point. Quite often playing attacking clears, giving her opponent very little time to react. 
And there's a flat one, but it's out the back again. So every time she lowers the trajectory, she seems to lose her length. We're seeing the first Chinese girls in the final since 1986, when Yao Fun was the winner at the Royal Albert Hall, recovering from an absolute drubbing in the first game against Sumiko Kitada of Japan to win 11 love in the third game. Well, that really was a terrific smash there from Hanai Ping. Over, seven, Great power three. and disguise. She really can hit the shuttle hard for one so slight. That's good. She was sold the dummy there. Nice deception seven, from Lili Wei. So that's weak seven, and into seven, the net. Seven, three. Total loss of touch there. Interestingly enough, the two girls are doubles partners as well as singles opponents today and were in fact runners up in the 1987 World Championships in Beijing. Eight, three. And I would imagine in next year's World Championships, Derek, we'll be seeing these two again there or thereabouts at the death. I'm sure that's right. The uh, Chinese players always uh, astound me because they play with uh, normal sort of plimso type footwear, whereas everybody else has got more advanced footwear. They play with basic synthetic strings, which uh, are not as good as the uh, strings that the rest of Europe play with, and yet they still win. So God knows what would happen if they had the right equipment. Well, glad they're handicapped or handicapping themselves. It's a fact. So it's over. Three eight. Well, let's see what Li Ling Wei can come up with now. Three eight, first game. Not a lot, I'm afraid. A lot of power behind the smash from Hanai Ping. Well, she hasn't really, Li Ling Wei, got into this game at all yet. I think in fairness to Hanai Ping, she really hasn't hardly put a foot wrong. And uh, I think it's a mental battle for Li Ling Wei to work out exactly what she could do to actually win points here. She's moving Hanai Ping around the court rather well, but just doesn't seem to be able to find the winner. And there you've got beautiful disguise. Hanai Ping sends Li Ling Wei across court, turns the wrist, Nine, and plunks it down. A beautiful slice drop shot. Yeah, that's two points away from the first game. 9-3. And that's game point. Ten, game point three. And a dejected look at face on Li Ling Wei. Oh, well, well recovered. It sets up an easy kill for Li Ling Wei. So that's one game point three, saved. Ten. But surely a three ten deficit <laughs> is way way beyond the world number two. Li Ling Wei, 3-10, first game. Well, that's one point pulled Four, back. Ten. Service over. Ten. Four. Still game point. And four. Game. Oh. That is the first game without undue difficulty at all for the reigning world champion Hanai Pin. Huh? Is she going to change a racket? No, just a quick towel down. Hanai Ping looking suitably inscrutable comes back onto the court. And just 
testing the shuttle. So, first game to the world champion, Hanai Ping, 11-4, start of game two. And there was a, a curious almost lack of interest on, on Li Ling Wei's part in that first game, Derek. She, she showed very little fight at all, even when things were going, were going poorly for her. That's right. It certainly was a mental problem rather than anything else. One love. Concentration, of course, is uh, so important, particularly when judgment of length and sidelines often at this level are so fine. Good attacking clear into the forehand of Li Ling Wei. And now we see two mistakes in a row from Hanai Ping. Two love. Well, Li Ling Wei in front for the first time in this match. Two love now. It's a good recovery. The lunging movement into the net, a very important one in badminton. And certainly a movement which takes a lot of energy. Love, two. Herself just too much ground to cover there. And caught a little bit flat footed as well by that. Back on her heels. Good attacking clear and right on the back Seven line. Over. That's called good. Two Superb all. clear there from Li Ling Wei. And Hanai Ping glares at the line judge, but it's his call that matters. So Li Ling Wei. Service back with her. Service over to all. <coughs> Service over. To all. Well, there's 100% more aggression in the second game already, Derek, on Li Ling Wei's part. Yes, it's a different contest altogether, but uh, it really hasn't got totally alive yet. And I don't think either player are playing to their very best form. And that's a very loose clear from Hanai Ping, Three, probably two. about a, a foot and a half out of the sideline. Of course, in the ladies' singles game and the men's singles game, one plays to the inside trime line. So that's good. Two, three. Fault. Well, the fault was called three, there. The four. umpire must have thought that the shuttle clipped the body or was struck more than once. That's well out again. A very loose shot over, from one so good. So it's over. Three all. Crisply struck, but uh, just too low. And again, Hanai Ping, after having really quite an impeccable Three, first game, has produced five or six really totally unforced errors.
Oh, great, great shot. shot, yes. Taken very early and brought down extremely steeply. Five, three. Well, Lee Ling's ways, Lee Ling Wei's reactions should be razor sharp because before turning to badminton at the comparatively late age of 16, she was an excellent volleyball player. No answer to that. Service over. Three. Han Ai Ping, by contrast, has been playing since the age of 12. Oh, great shot. Superb change of direction. Four, five. Again, a very wide clear. Service over. Five, four. Six, Another four. enforced error on a drop shot after a particularly superb spin net shot from Hanai Ping. Four. Well, having really been overrun in the first game, 11-4, Li Ling Wei, world number two, putting up an infinitely better showing in the second game, leading 7-4. It's a most odd performance, really. It's almost as though they say, you, you win one game and I'll win the other. I'm <laughs> and quite we'll play sure for real in the third. Yeah, I'm quite sure it doesn't happen like that, but uh, it certainly looks that way. Well, that was an excellent rally, and perhaps we can take another look at that with both girls manoeuvring each other around the court, and eventually the final error on the part of Li Ling Wei putting the shuttle into the net. A lot more sparkle there from Hanai Ping. Clear to the backhand, and how can I ping manage to get that drop? I'm not quite sure. Well, tremendous defence from the world champion, but in the end, leading way not to be denied. Seven and Feng and I ping five. putting the shuttle out. Quite a model rally for the ladies' singles game. Some great clears and drop shots there. Good deception, and it's in, right good. on the back line. 
Eight five. Eight five. Li Lingwei then on the far side of the net. There she is, just three tantalizing points away from leveling this final. Nine. Make that five. two points. Oh, beautiful. Oh, that's a wonderful shot. That was such delicate touch there from Li Lingwei. She left the shuttle a little game late point. so as to five. disguise the direction. And it's now game point. 10-5. Beautiful back. Two. Final game. Love all. The third and final game then of this ladies singles final of the Carlsberg Classic between the top two in the world, both from the People's Republic of China, Hanai Ping on the far side of the net, and Li Lingwei. This is Li Lingwei, who really came back from the dead after being run all over in the first set. Lost the first, did Li Lingwei 11-4, came back to win the second 11-5. Two love. And already two love to the good in this third and deciding game. Given good. Service over, love two. One, two. Well, she lost a touch totally there. Tried to spin the shuttlecock, which is not too easy to do, but she really lost a touch worth remembering of course there is absolutely nothing what a marvelous shot by Li Lingwei as I was saying worth remembering absolutely nothing that these two girls don't know about each other's styles of play they met in the 1987 world championship final Hanai Ping won that in three games they met in the final of the 1985 all England at Wembley which Hanai Ping won 11-7 12-10 and the pair are doubles partners as well so it really is a case of which is all right on the day. Service over, one, three. She rushed that Two, one a little. Three. A curiously em emotionless final, Derek, almost like a game of chess out on court with, the, with, with both girls trying to manoeuvre each other around the court, look for the openings. Well, such is a singles game, of course. It's uh, very much one of movement from the back of the court to the front uh, with the interjection of a number of cross-court angles to turn the opponent. Service over. Three, and uh, they're both playing model singles in many respects, but only in this third game have they both looked uh, determined. Service over. Two, three. Well, rather dejected. Li Ling Wei. A great shot from the net from Li Lingwei. Good deception. She certainly moved up a gear from the previous game. And I ping now under a lot more pressure, you see. And there she has it. Nice cross court opening, found very neatly. Service over, 3 2. And certainly Hanai Ping having to work much harder in this third game. Quite a nice contrast in style between the two players. Li Lingwei seeming to glide around the court. Much more obvious effort from the world champ Hanai Ping. Well, she's a taller girl, of course, Li Lingwei. In her lunging movements forward, she seems Four, to be able two. to cope with very easily and gracefully. Oh, that's wild. Service over. Two, Momentarily four. lost her concentration there. Oh, 
Interesting short serve there from Hanai Ping right back into court so that it makes the receiver have a problem in finding accuracy to the net. And the flick serve to follow. Beautiful. Oh. A nice cross court from Li Ling Wei and the right shot to play at the net, but uh, she didn't quite get the touch. So Han Ai Ping now levels it at four all. Just gone. Service over. Four all.